Mad Hats is a legendary Ukrainian rock band. They began their musical journey in 1991. Hello, I am your host Anton Lysenko, and uh, today uh, Vadim Krasnoki has joined our studio for the first time. Hello, Vadim, and uh, welcome to the studio of uh, Nash Volos, Ukrainian Roots Radio. Hi, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for joining us. So your band has a very incredible history. But uh, before we delve into your story, I have to mention that Vadim and uh, his band about to start um, their musical tour across Canada on May 16. Matt Hatz will be playing uh, the first concert in Victoria, BC at the Ukrainian Culture Center. The link for the tickets will be in the description for this video. So make sure to check it out and uh, come over and have fun with uh, Vadim Krasnokin and uh, his uh, musical band. I have at once make a notice that it's it's going to be my solo concert. So I'm not bringing the whole band, Matt Hats, uh, for this particular concert, as, as well as for the, full, uh, for the whole tour. I will be per- performing myself, but I will still be bringing Matt Hats with me in regarding all the songs because uh, I'm the author for all of the, uh, all, all of the songs for Mad Hats. I will be singing what people know, and the, 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 this is uh, all of Mad Hats repeat. How do you feel to cross Canada from the west to the east, from the Pacific Ocean to the Atlantic Ocean? What's your expectation from the store? I'm actually very excited because this is uh, kind of, uh, for me personally, it's dream coming true. I used to have some concerts in Canada before with my band uh, uh, and by myself both, mostly in Ontario. Once we've been to uh, to Manitoba, the Ukrainian festival in Dauphin, Manitoba, and also Montreal, Ukrainian festival, but all other Canada I couldn't reach yet. So, and uh, because uh, my Music is for Ukrainians in the first place. The people, the Ukrainian people know my songs. Uh, so I know there are lots of Ukrainian people or people of Ukrainian origins out there. Uh, and we didn't have chance to meet. Or sometimes they were coming to those festivals where we performed in uh, Toronto, or Montreal, or Ottawa. So I've met people from Edmonton, from Calgary, from Vancouver, from, from all, all places in Canada. And I know there are more uh, people who enjoy Matt Hat's music for many, many years now, but uh, I didn't have a chance to, to uh, connect with them with the live concert, which is the, the best that I could do. This is very exciting. And also for me personally, travel, uh, traveling across Canada uh, is one thing that I was looking forward for years, and now I'm going to accomplish this. Are you planning to present some maybe some new song uh, for the Canadian and Ukrainians who's going to come for your concert? There, there are going to be a few new songs as well, sure. Uh, and But one, the most important thing about those concerts is they are going to be charity events. So we are going to support the Ukrainian army. And we are going to support each other as well because all the Ukrainians are pretty much involved in this uh, uh, information about the war going every day. And... From my personal experience, it's very frustrating. And we need to come together and sing the songs and uh, have fun and uh, support each other this, this way. So this is the second mission that I see uh, very important about all those concerts. But the first one is still uh, that we're uh, going to be gathering some money for to support Ukrainian army. And we know how important it is basically when the international support is getting less uh, we need to remind the world that the war is still going and Ukraine need, needs support and we need to do something by ourselves. Now I'm coming actually to your question about the new songs. Yes. I have a few new yes. songs written since the, the big war began. And I actually, uh, I've been there in Ukraine when it started. Uh, so my impressions are still very fresh and uh, I have a lot to say about this, but may- maybe not everything is going to come out right away because uh, for me personally, there is a lot of pain, uh, a lot of suffering about Ukraine, about the people that I know, about the people that I've lost already, about my family. Who need, uh, I'm lucky that my family is alive, but we still, we don't, nobody stays at home 
you know, like we lost home, all of my family. A lot of things to, to suffer, and this is something that I don't want to see right now. About. I keep it for myself. I, uh, I maybe later. I mean, I have a few songs about that too. But when they, uh, when I was writing them, I, I know that this is something that I don't want to share with people, especially with people in Ukraine, because th those songs were written. Some of those songs were written in Ukraine uh, during the first mo uh, months of war. I came to the conclusion that the best I could do. Music-wise, is uh, write some more positive songs because Matt has mu Matt has music. Matt has songs that uh, are known for its uh, positive energy, lots of optimism about that. Whatever happens, so this time, no matter how big is the suffering, the pain with the war. I mean, it's the most awful thing that can happen from my experience to people having this war. But in this case. We need uh, moral support from music. And uh, so this is what I'm doing. I'm writing new positive songs about war, about how, uh, how cool Ukrainians are uh, to keep fighting, uh, how brave they are. There, there is a lot of uh, good things to recognize, to, to discover about ourselves, how uh, a, a lot of important uh, things that we can do to save our uh, close people, to save our nation, to save our country. And uh, th this really inspires me. So the, the, some of the new songs that I will sing, uh, some of them already are released together with Mad Hats Band. Uh, you mm -hmm. can find uh, their records and you can listen. Uh, there is also a new video recently uh, released uh, for one of those songs. But apart from that, uh, there will be some songs that I only sing with my guitar. But if they are still new, and uh, I think people will understand. Can you give us maybe one example of your new song, or is it the secret? No secret, absolutely. Two released songs uh, of Mad Hats that, that you can find on all digital platforms are the most recent one is called uh, Sweet Love Serenenas, which means Light Within Us. <laughs> This song is started for myself when I was sitting uh, back in Kyiv. Russians were bombing energy facilities and we didn't have any uh, electricity. And uh, it, it, it was the first time it happened. I mean, now it's happened. It happens again. So. But back then, I, I wanted to, to, to have something for myself, and I wanted to sh share something with people. That the, uh, so we, we, can, we, we can come over that too. We, we, we can survive uh, don't, uh, not having electricity, because the main light is, is what we have inside for each other and for ourselves, and we still can, um, can go on with it. This is uh, how this song was written, and we recorded it with the band. And uh, more, uh, more recently, uh, we produced the video for this song. Uh, this video is actually, you won't see the musicians there, uh, except me, <laughs> a little bit. But it's a documentary about uh, volunteering organizations in Ukraine who are active now, uh, who are active through all of this time, and they do a great job supporting army, supporting kids of uh, dead um, soldiers. A lot of great work they do. And we, uh, we wanted to, to tell those stories using our song and video for it as a very short format, but very effective. So I, I do recommend to, uh, to watch this video. Sweet of Seredeninas is the name of the song. Before that, it was another song with... Uh, which is called Мы українці, ми можемо все, which means we are Ukrainian, we, we can bear anything. And this was the first positive song that I wrote about this war, the song to recognize all the great things that Ukrainians are up to. <laughs> One more a new song released. It won't be on the concert because it's not just 
Matt had song. It's a feature with the Slovak band, a very popular uh, reggae Slovak band, Medial Banana. In the most recent time, I, I, I've been in uh, in Slovakia and in Europe with concerts and uh, my personal stuff, my, my family stuff that I have to uh, take care of. Uh, so uh, um, I make connection to the band that the music that I loved here, and they were very supportive. And we made a song together about the war in Ukraine, about that we don't want this war, but we have to fight until we win, and that uh, all the world has to support Ukraine about this. I think this song is very important. I think it's more even important because uh, it's more. Uh, it's less for Ukrainians, but more for Europeans and uh, to the people in, in the whole world. And the band, which is famous in European country, and the song that is written mostly in English, but some of it also in Ukrainian. The song is called uh, No More. Matt has a media banana. Say no more, we want no more, we want the peace, happy the peace. Say no more, we want no more. Actually, I've been listening to the first two songs that you mentioned, Svitla Seredaninas. Uh, in this song, uh, Light is Within Us, there is some words, uh, together we are strong and the whole world is within us. Actually, I have to ask you this question because, you know, it's not like easy time right now for Ukraine because we have lack of ammunition, lack of air defense system and... Do you still believe that the whole world uh, supports Ukraine and uh, we can win and survive all together? Yes, I, I do believe because th there is a lot of uh, support from world from ordinary people in the first place. I mean, and also if from some governments. So it's I mean it's changing now. We have less support from US uh, because they have their own political problems. We understand that. And, but maybe some more support from some European countries as well. Ukraine is not alone in this fight. A lot of people understand that this is the war for democracy, for the freedom, for Western culture and way of life. Ukraine is fighting for the Western values in this fight. A lot of people understand that. I mean, I meet a lot of people every day who know this. I mean, people in different countries. Uh, but uh, it's still hard still hard without ammunition. We still need more support to win this war. And uh, th this is what I, uh, this is one of the things that I'm trying to do as much as I can, uh, spreading this information and encouraging people to give more support. It's more oriented to Ukrainian listeners who are in Ukraine. And uh, yes, it is hard every day. It's getting harder when, when the war is now for like the third year. But it pretty much depends on what we have within us, right? What we have inside and how strong we are and how loving we are to each other. I mean, this is my idea about this how much we still could find motivation to support each other and to fight this war. Because the support of the world also depends on that. The world only supports those who fight. And Ukrainians already showed that we could fight and that we could uh, have some victories on the battlefield. Yes, it is hard. And yes, every day we need to still be strong. This is the only way to survive, actually. So motivation is very serious. The Ukrainian who here in in Canada, the Ukrainian Canadian, then they can also uh, support your uh, Ukrainian army and make a commitment to to Ukrainian victory and victory of democracy in our country. Another question I want to ask you: You already mentioned that you had some concert in uh, Toronto, Ontario, Winnipeg, and uh, you know that uh, after the full-scale invasion of uh, Russia in, into Ukraine in 2022, more than 300,000 uh, Ukrainians uh, forced to immigrate to Canada. And uh, do you feel that um, now your music, your positive way of thinking, it's uh, more desire, more important for audience than ever? Thank you for this question. I believe so, yes. I mean, people even uh, sometimes they don't know this and uh, some people are 
staying at home, just watching the news every day, suffering. But uh, from what I know from my experience, and this is experience not of this big war, because it's, it's all started back in uh, 2014 when the war all just began with, with Crimea and Donbass. The first news about those were, were very frustrating for me. But that same night, I had the chance to go to the concert and see the people who thought and felt like myself and we supported each other. And I felt for myself how, how great music could work. And uh, after that, we played a lot of concerts for soldiers on the front line, or for the volunteers, uh, with the Mad Hats. Uh, I, I played so I sometimes I just come with the guitar to do such concerts. Now, the bigger the war is, the more we need moral support, uh, and music can give that. Uh, so, uh, I mean, yes, the people from Ukraine who came to Canada, recently they are comparatively safe. Mm, I mean, they don't have risk to uh, strict risk to their lives, right? But the mental health is still a problem because we all suffer from this war. I believe the people of Ukrainian origins, we even don't speak Ukrainian. Uh, they also suffer. They, uh, they also are there on the battlefield with the Ukrainian soldiers. Every day we are watching what was going on, and and we really need to support each other. To, uh, to have enough uh, strength to come through this and to have enough strength to, to do something, again, to su support Ukraine more and more. You mentioned that you gave concert for the different uh, audience, uh, for Ukrainian soldiers and for peaceful cities. What is the difference when you play for the Ukrainian defenders uh, and uh, for the civilian people? in Ukraine or abroad? It pretty much uh, uh, could depend on the time and the circumstances. Uh, when it was comparatively peaceful situation, uh, the, the, the defenders are very open people and very positive and, uh, and happy to, to be on the concert. Just recently had one concert in, uh, in Denmark for Ukrainian community. And uh, there were some soldiers, they have injuries, and uh, so they uh, get the medical treatment. They've been to that concert. I think they were the most grateful people of all the audience. And they told me that we are so happy to, just for this time of the concert, to, to forget what we saw and to be normal and people and have fun. Because sometimes I, I hear some critics from, from some people that, it's not the time for the music. It's not time for the happy songs. I have been told by Ukrainian defenders they need it. I could remind you about the videos that they record there on the front line where they dance and sing. This works good for, uh, for, for people. <laughs> this is why I'm making myself to do it even, even sometimes when it's hard. Because sometimes I feel myself like I, I'm going to just cry out all my pain. But I know that I can do something good and help to other people and to myself. And I go to the concerts and I feel much better. Everybody know your musical band and you personally as a singer and author of the song Nadia Ye, a hope exists, if I translate it right. What is a hope for you and how do you see the future of uh, Ukraine and uh, your music in Ukraine after victory. We have a few English translations for the song Nadia yeah, that you've mentioned. The most recent, and I think the, uh, the most recent, and I think the most uh, exact expression for Nadia yeah, in English would be "there is a way." Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not probably related with the word hope, but uh, the idea is there is a way to do this, mm -hmm. and uh, I do hope and believe that we can. I don't want to think about the best scenarios of this war because the, the, this is something that will bring uh, suffering for a lot of more people in the world. There is only one way we win. Russia should lose this war and Russia should be punished for what they do. Because uh, otherwise, anybody in the world allowed to do this to their neighbors. And uh, we should understand that it works globally now.
There is no, it, it, uh, I mean, yes, we are not lucky to have this common board, border <laughs> with Russia and common history as well. But still, uh, the war spreads uh, these days uh, uh, sometimes for very huge distances, like uh, the war in the East with Israel, right? We understand it's related to the war in Ukraine. They are related things. And then there is another war that could happen to Taiwan. It's, again, it's pretty much a way, but it's all connected these days. And who knows if we uh, let dictatorships be unpunished for such things? Who knows what's going to happen and when next time? We have to think about this and we have to think positively and we have to act whatever we can do. Like if, we, if you can come to the concert and uh, give some money for for Ukrainian army, for the drones that they will use. This is action. If you can go to some political event and say, Ukraine needs arms right now. Act now. Support Ukraine. This is also something to do. But this thing is so huge. I mean, one person cannot, uh, however big it is, cannot, cannot do anything to, to change, to win. But together, we can do this. I can only see Ukraine as a peaceful country. Peaceful country of free people who, des who deserve this life. I think there will be a lot of concerts there. I will be happy to invite everybody from Canada. Come to Kiev. Come to Crimea. It is safe. There is no war anymore. And we can, we can have fun together and celebrate. I mean, this is what I hope for. This is what I pray every day. This is what I'm trying to do as much as I can personally. Though I do recognize that any, whatever big my action is, it's still very small to change anything when I'm alone. Think positively and uh, support Ukraine. That was advice from the Vadim Krasnaoki, leader of the musical band Mad Hats. He joined us, uh, our Uh, radio show from uh, Kiev, uh, Ukraine, and uh, I want to remind our listener that we are expecting him here in uh, Victoria, BC, May 16. Thank you very much uh, for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you to everybody who will listen to this, and I hope to see you at the concert. I will be happy to meet everybody personally, and we will sing together, and we will have a great time, and we will do something useful to help this war be won. Thank you. Thank you so much.